All right, all right, all right, folks. Welcome back to episode two of Breaking Pebble, where golfers of various handicaps take on possibly the most iconic golf course in the world from where else? No other than the tips. Today we're covering holes seven through 12. If you haven't seen episode one, head over to the link in the description to get your ass caught up because I'll be honest with you, some of us are in trouble. Some of us are using these golf clubs like shovels trying to dig ourselves out of a hole. That would be me. If you are caught up, then you already know that the windy cliffs of Pebble Beach have taken their toll. Justin Chastain is a 17 handicap. He's attempting to break 100 at 11 over. He's squarely in the hunt. Mikey Pompatura is a two handicap, attempting to break 77, but can he get over the early nerves which brought him to an 11 over through six? Our resident comedian Aaron Tuning, who's an eight handicap, attempting to break 90. He is faring the best, but not by much. He's 10 over through six. As for myself, I don't know what the f is going on with my game. It's not about me though. It's about Mikey, Justin, and Aaron, and I am just here to, I guess, I'm, I'm doing reverse sandbagging. I'm airbagging. All right, let's get the preview on the way. The 16th hole, it's formidable. Golfers are gonna face a challenging 403 yard par four. A lot of people are gonna use less than driver though because it's downhill and it narrows as it gets closer. As you can see, there's an island bunker in the middle of the fairway and you get a nice flat lie from 150. Here, a par feels like a hard earned victory as it does everywhere else on earth, folks, especially when the cameras are rolling. Aaron first up, gotta, gotta say, he played baseball. I just know it. Bam! Yeah, well. That's sort of like an adolescent cut. I like it. Middle of the fairway, okay, Mikey, right? big dog. I think I had three wood in my hands and I switched. I don't know. All right, Mikey. Mikey's got the uh, tailor-made driver. Let's see what he does with it. There we go. That's the best shot of the day for sure right there. Good job, Mikey. Oh. Just throwing that pizza, you know? It's a bit more cut than Justin was looking for, but honestly, I think he'll be fine. There's some fairway over there. Me, I'm just like, oh God, can I just see the result already? You know, very impatient golf from me today, I can tell. But, four for four. but, nice. hit a straight one. Yo, I saw the craziest spider in my bathroom. Like, not friendly looking. What are they called? A brown recluse? Oh, yeah. you know, oh, that, those are the scary ones. Yeah. Here, it's right here. <laughs> 152 for Justin on the way. Probably about an eight iron. That looks a bit right. That, it's in the scorecard. All right, baby, let's play some All right, I got 33, so you got a good idea it's 45. So let's go pin hunt, man. 45, all of 45. I like when people leave out the one, you know? I just need that level of, of uh, brevity. It's a nice shot. Roll up. Roll on up. ATL. Look at that pure fairway there. It's like a fucking jewelry store. I could just see some jewels just sitting on that grass. Oh, his didn't jump. Free butter after two shots. Butter. God. <laughs> Especially the first time playing with a caddy. Having a caddy should be like putter time. Oh. 24 playing 35. All right, and just, just reflection. If you saw the last episode, I shanked one from 60 yards. So here I'm just, I don't know what I'm trying to do. I'm trying not to repeat Liverpool. And I just dig it out of the dirt, dude. Yeah, Best shot of the day for me. I don't think it gets better than this. I've been fixing everybody else's like, uh, I'll help you out, no problem, I got it. This is good, I feel like, I feel like we're kicking it in. Yeah. What? Yeah, look at that shit. <laughs> Check it out. Well, got to do it. This is still playable, right? Overheard Pebble Beach. This is still playable, right? Fucking <laughs> tell me about it, dude. Nice shot, Justin. Get up. Oh man, that's tough, man. Yeah, his, his wedge glows blue when bogeys are near. <laughs> All right. 
third shot on the way. Mikey's going to get his speed dialed in here. Got to get it down there. Good putt. Let's get tap in. <laughs> tap in par. Dude, show me those teeth, dude. I, I'll cheese like crazy when I start making pars at these courses, you know? Good roll. Nice shit, dude. Good job. Huh. That works. That's good. It's good, right? Yeah. No, putting that one. All right, we talked about this one, man. So you know exactly where you need to be. Yeah. My mismatching greens are really annoying me right now. It's like hard to look at. I need to do better with the fits. Could it be? Could it be? Nope. Come on. Nope. Come on. Yeah. Drop. Yeah. Nice putt, dude. Let's go. See the pep talk. Nice putt, dude. Come on, team. I don't think mine goes in. I'm just going to warn you. I don't think it goes in. I think it misses on the low side. That lap putter is diesel, though. High side. Man, that stinks. Hey, whatever. Maybe I make this one, you know? You got to keep the speed on it now. You're uphill, so yeah. keep it inside. Good That's good. A par, guys. Good par. First par of the day. Two pars and a birdie on that hole. Oh, great. Pat rules. Big Pat guy. Yeah, I don't know. That uh, down there one's just scary. But getting a bird, getting one back. Feels good. Let's go. Probably my one and only bird. We'll take it. <laughs> All right, two holes left in the front nine. Two big holes. 17 and 18 at Pebble. Crazy holes. <laughs> What not not an understatement here. These are two big golf holes. The 17th is a 213 yard par three that has played host to a number of iconic shots in golf history. Perhaps most notable is Jack Nicklaus's famously hitting of the flag with a one iron on this same back left pin, which is the traditional US Open pin on Sunday. It's also where Tom Watson chipped in. It's a hole essentially folks where dreams are realized and sometimes in my case, <laughs> right in the wind, man, so we know it's all of 200. Got it. Ball, it's all about ball flight here. Yeah, see, when the caddy says to me it's all about ball flight, that's just when my hands go numb. You know, I don't know what's ball flight. It's just... Oh, man. Uh, real serious here. Yeah, that's... I don't think that's what the caddy meant. Lateral over there, so... Lateral. Hopefully that grass grabs it over there. Yeah, Hitchcock showed up. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Who's doing the green cam? Landon's about to get, like, pecked. Now Mikey, seven iron. He's got the ball flight. Look at that. Half a yard draw right on the stick. Go oh, man. How good is that shot? Right? Great right shot. See, that's Mikey's potential, right? That's... That is who Mikey is. And it took us a few hours to see it, but Mikey, good to see you. Thanks for coming out. Keep the heat. I don't even know what club I'm at here. It's five iron, four iron. I don't feel comfortable with it, I can tell you that. Because I know that's what I did. Wow. Right going right. That's just when you get off the freeway okay? quick. You know, yeah, you're fine. From the left yeah. lane, you're just like, oh, shit, this is my exit. <sighs> Whoops. Time you turn it left when <laughs> you were expecting a cut. I feel you, Justin. I'm right there with you. Man, what a squad! What a beautiful day! What a beautiful memory! We got a 90 yard chip. Nope, it's not gonna do it. <laughs> I just, I gotta tell you, I just love the like, <laughs> thank you, Elliot. I just love the like poorly executed mid length chip and then you just look back at the grass. Like as though it's the grass's fault. It's kind of like when you go to the ATM and there's no money and you're like, what are you? You're looking at the screen like it's the screen's fault. Yeah, that's a good shot. That's a nice shot. Got through it. Anywhere on the putting surface, and it is a good day for this squad. I like right here. Right here. Yeah. Here, let's get some good grass for you, man. That looks like a neck injury just waiting to happen. 
Amazing tuning. Get through it. Oh, not that far. Slow down. Oh, damn. Yeah. That's how you follow the birdie right there. <laughs> and these birds just mocking all of us. <laughs> and I got no sand game. You know me. Oh. You know me, dude. I show up to a bunker and I just turn into a... <laughs> no! It's the smallest bunker, too. Oh, man. Look at me. I am hopeless. In my bones is no golf knowledge. All right. Heads up to everybody everywhere. It sounds like a song. Heads up to everybody everywhere. World Tour. St. Andre Golf. Just buy the ticket. Take the ride. Look at that, though. I mean, Tom Watson would have given that a golf clap. That's amazing, dude. Good shot. Good shot. And here I am just cleaning up my own vomit from the night before. No, nope, didn't get it. I'm gonna need to take another shower. Yeah, that felt good. A little scared. Downhill, bunker, and ocean. Army of birds behind it. Okay, let me save a five. I recently had food poisoning, and um, the the confidence to fart after having like a severely, you know, diarrhea-laden food poisoning week. It, it like takes a minute. It's kind of like golf. Like you, you get like golf diarrhea and you're afraid to fart, which is essentially like hitting the golf ball, you know? All right, Mikey for birdie. A long one on the way, 23 feet. Hey, oh, but it was great speed and it's a tap in par. Mikey's going par par. Here we go, episode two, starting off strong. Let's go, dude. Butt is working. Honestly, a little butt pat there. Yeah, double. Yeah. <laughs> All right, folks, the ninth hole. It's actually the 18th, and you should recognize this because it is another in a series of legendary holes at Pebble Beach. It runs parallel to the rocky coastline, as you can see. This mega vista on the Pacific, and this hole itself offers a risk and reward in equal measure. A well-strategized drive can set players up for an eagle opportunity, but the ocean lurking to the left is ever ready to punish the slightest misstep. Hey y'all, hope you're enjoying Pebble. I know we enjoyed making it. This video is brought to you by Ketone IQ. I'm out here at the Grand Del Mar shooting a video where I live on the golf course until I make a hole in one, and one of the things getting me through that is Ketone IQ. Ketone IQ is brain fuel and it keeps you energized. I'm taking it to get through here because I am living in this tent and I've been here for two days, so <laughs> it's the only thing getting me through. Honestly, it doesn't taste the best, but that's how you know it's working. Look, watch this. Oh, okay, now watch this shot. Ooh. Oh my God, it'd be so mad. No way. Oh. <laughs> You can get 30% off your first Keto and IQ order at hvmn.com slash RGC. The link is in the description, and I'm telling you, the stuff works. If you can get a hole-in-one after drinking a Keto and IQ and get footage of it, I will personally give you a year's supply of Keto and IQ. It's a slightly pretty golf course here, and Mikey's about to tee off. This is a magic moment here. Bam, he put everything into that. And that is... It uh, obliterated somewhere. <laughs> you saw, you, we see it, but I don't think it made it just because the wind might have caught it up. It's kind of like looking at an ex-girlfriend's Instagram account. You're like, she exists, but not in my world. <laughs> Tuning just burns one, dude. Yeah, yeah. Get over. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Tuning looks safe, but we might not be. Yeah, right on. Oh, yeah. He's curling back. Trying to... Yeah, that didn't cut much, did it? <laughs> Chastain, I'm feeling the cut here. There we go. Safe as houses, dude. Literally. Safe as a $14 million house. Mikey going again. Seeing if she'll respond this time. All right. Can't be safer than that. Okay. 
You know, Pebble Beach is like one of the first golf courses built in 1919, but one of the first courses to be a tourist experience. It was designed to utilize the newly created automobile, right? So all of a sudden cars, man, you could go places and they were like, oh, if you live in San Francisco, come to Pebble Beach. Clipped it. Gotta say, love Mikey's Echoes, just calling it out. Wouldn't mind a random golf club echo shoe. That sucks. I thought yeah, I it was bouncing, dude. Team. We were into it. Dude, he would hit his face into that wall. That ball would go right into the face. All right, we got 237 on the pin. I mean, there's not money on the line. We're on 18 of Pebble Beach. Let's be stupid. You know what I mean? Hit, hit a piece. Oh. You saw it roll back in a bunker though, right? Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. You know, sometimes being stupid kind of works. You don't know if you're stupid or smart until the result. I'm dumb as shit. <laughs> Talk about being stupid. This is my three iron. And I'm trying to fight this wind. Watch what happens. Look at that. How far right can one go? I'll find out and get back to you. This just a moment ago. I swear, Mikey's got a great move. Look at that. Just get a little kick left. Get a little baby kick. Nice shot. All right, well this, this whole, I was unlucky, the first one rolled back in, but 18 and seven on Pebble. I just didn't want to completely embarrass myself. Haven't. Going up to a three. Yeah, so I'm what? I'm hitting four, three inside bunker. Mm -hmm. Take that. Golf math, dude. Oh, there you go, that's a good drop. I love how we have to observe that rule too. Like, why does it matter? Like, why do we have to crouch down by our knees? Like, it's so dainty. Dude. Great move, Justin. Just getting through the ball, dude. Get over. I don't know. It's really it looked, good. It looked really good. Yeah. All right. Hey, we'll take that. I don't know. I'm not going to pull out the putter until we check the hole. That's right. <laughs> Cover 42 to a 56 pin, and you got a good idea. It's right into the wind. So nothing less than 65. This is a beautiful shot. I feel like this could happen. Shot. <laughs> Telling myself good shot. That's a good one. <laughs> Stunts. Go. Get up. You got a date. <laughs> so, I'm so sorry I was recording. <laughs> I'm so sorry I was recording. Great. Yeah, definitely want to copy that, please. You guys been hanging out at all this round? I feel like you've been on different parts of the golf course. I miss you. I miss you. How are you feeling? <laughs> this is our first day to together. Yeah. And uh, it's going to lead the way. Mm -hmm. lead all right. The if way. we both make it. Do we go in the ocean? We go in the ocean. Oh, man. Wow, what a moment. <gasps> that was a par. Thank you. Great part, man. Thank you, Pat. No butter. Wow. Best putt of the day from Mikey. Most of that breaks within the first 12 feet. Second half doesn't do much, so. Yeah. Let's go, baby. Good work. Get in there. Yeah, we can roll. Ah, good effort. Yeah, good time. No water. Yeah. This is the one I'm doing the water.
And finally, just a couple dubs up here. I made a par, but it feels like a double. I don't know why. Yeah, so in here we have a very unusual experience, right? Like not a lot of people play Pebble backwards, out of order, reverse nines. But here we go, getting into the uh, clown car. A lot of people looking at us wondering what on earth we're doing. What's going on there? Indeed. What are they doing? Indeed, we are playing this course backwards, which we would have it no other way. So on to the first hole, the opening hole, our 10th hole. This begins the journey of the front nine at Pebble Beach. The first hole greets players with a welcoming embrace, a 378 yard par four. This fairway is flanked by a solitary bunker to the right, and the green itself is elevated. It's not the biggest green on earth. All right, so first tee, not the first hole. Yes, right. Correct. Yes, correct. Our 10th hole. That's crazy. <laughs> Imagine that. Whoa, dude. Wow. Does the day feel this backwards? Yeah. My game feels yep. very backwards, yes. For the most part, yeah. Yes. Cool. So in keeping with that, I'm going to read out all of our scores aloud. We're dying. I'll start with mine, which is the worst. I shot a 54 on the front. Next up, Justin, my new best friend, 53. And got chance. him. There's a chance. You got him. There's a chance. We're going to have a match. <laughs> uh, next up, Mikey. Shocker, 50. 5-0. One. 5-0. <laughs> Call the police. So a 27 on the back? That's right. Court record. record. I'm going to have a bus posted up there with just the need a, <laughs> a Just bus. need a cool <laughs> nine birdie run right. to make the number. <laughs> I'm ready, man. I'm ready. And Aaron, leader of the clubhouse, 48. <laughs> it's a struggle out here. This is no joke. We're trauma bonding. We're having a good time. <laughs> All right, can we finish this? <laughs> okay. Onward. Uh, front nine of Pebble Beach. Very excited down. to be here. Yeah. Thanks for watching. All right, so let's just recap here, everybody. You know, front nine's over. We're going to start the back nine. And just like, take a second here. And I know you're probably Money on the ball, couch dude. commentating, thinking, oh, well, I could do better in this and that. Hey, maybe you can. That's the point of this yeah, series. Great, but you got to factor in. We're playing very far back. We're playing unusual conditions. We got cameras going. The whole thing is a bit harder. Nice ball. Perfect. Nice ball. Let's do it. <laughs> I knew you. That's Come where on. It starts. It, there's a cleansing between 18 and 1 yeah. that few get to experience. <laughs> yeah, I guess I got a little giddy in between. Whoa. <laughs> what the f is that? That's, that could be expensive. That could be expensive, Justin. Go on. Cool, we're clear. Man, so Justin on 17 just figure out how to hit that, turn that club phase over. I'm thinking I'm going to hit a draw here, and I don't really. That's not enough club on that line. There. Get out of that rough, dude. The rough here isn't long, but it's, it's still it's completely me up. Yeah. It's this Cali rough, dude. Texas rough is like... <laughs> Cali rough is like... <laughs> Look at him get Good through it. I like that. You see that right shoulder get all the way through? Boys were nervous. Now they're starting to settle down, right? We're making some putts and uh, they're keeping it in play. So we're doing all right, man. We're just having a good time. You know what? I just got to go six over on the back. That's doable. To shoot 90, I would need to shoot yeah. literally even par. There you go. You've done that before. Even par. Uh, yeah, I mean, I've. Possible. One thing. time I broke par. You nine. Course record been happening right here. Highlights, baby. Highlights. There's got to be something good coming up. Nice shot. 155. Nice low draw in there. Good kick. Set, set, set. A little deep. That's okay. Yeah, good shot. Thank you. Hang on. That might get some wind. Push that. All right. Safe. Oh, well. A little pitch and putt there. Look at that slope there. Yeah. That's going to be a really challenging chip. Where that pin at? I see you. You got to get a shot. It's cute right there. You can see it right there. See pin. I see it. I don't know if that's, I think that's pretty good. Is that aimed there? What's wrong with that aim, dude? I, I mean, I thought your aim was pretty good. Watch where you're aiming at, thing. 
I woke up last night in the middle of the night. Did I tell you what happened? No. There was like a squirrel doing like construction. Oh, yeah, yeah. It, was like... <laughs> <laughs> Dude, it literally had like a hammer and nails, and it was just like, <laughs> had a little light out there, headlamp. What'd you do? Chase it away? Yeah. I woke up, turned on my flashlight on my phone, and I started banging on the window. And then, you know what he did? He started working on a different project in the same room, dude. <laughs> he moved around and he's like, I'm working on something else. Uh, and I almost was like, dude, we need to call the owners of the house because like, there's some like unsupervised construction taking place. Unpermitted. Yeah, there's no permits. This thing, they're gonna get they're gonna get in trouble for this, yeah? yeah. Just because a squirrel doesn't make it okay. <laughs> Squirrels need permits too. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, everyone, just like, I got out of the bunker. On one, I'm one for one here, you know? Like, Thanks. I did what I was supposed to do. Man, Justin, you were just a steady player, dude. dude. man, we're just, again, just trying to be smooth and cool. Just trying be to be cool, smooth be cool. and cool. My favorite saying is from my grandmother. I'm pretty sure she was talking about my brother. And she said that he is like a fart in a whirlwind. You just never know where he's going to be at any given point in time. So if you think about a fart in a whirlwind, it's just kind of hard to hard to dictate where, where you are and all of that. This is pretty thick down here. I just need to pop it up, let it land on that fringe and roll down. It's making me want to play some golf, fellas. I don't know about you. I wouldn't mind going back to Pebble and playing some golf. Yeah, it's going to be hard to stop. Uh, that was that was like as good as you can do out of that. Okay. Better than being cute. It's a rocket ship. All right, for par here. Good roll. Good roll. That had it. It's a different game. God, I feel bad. What we're seeing here is a group that's uh, looking for a leader. You know, we're looking for someone to do something, to make something happen. Sort of like opening the cookie jar, opening the, the jar of pickles, right? Like, we're all working on opening this jar, you know, and we just need someone just to get it open. And then all of a sudden, all of us can enjoy the pickles or the cookies, whichever you prefer. But ultimately, yeah, we are, we are waiting to open the jar. The 11th hole, also known as the second hole, is a par five of 509 yards in length. It's reachable. Uh, for those laying up, the fairway stops about 100 yards from the green in front of a hidden cross bunker. Meandering along the beautiful coastline, this hole offers a tantalizing opportunity for birdie. However, beware the fairway bunkers and the narrowing landing area as you approach the green. Greetings, my name's Eric. I'm the founder of Random Golf Club. And while this seems kind of serious, I will say the only thing that I'm really serious about is building the biggest and most inclusive golf club in the world. When I came to golf, I loved it, but there were a lot of things that I didn't love about it. And I'm here to change that. I'm here to make golf a club for everyone. Our goal is to get people out on the golf course. Our goal is to host amazing events. Our goal is to make people look good, feel good on the golf course. You make more birdies with this shirt. Did you know that? I mean, tell me I'm wrong. We have a fun time. We're enjoying golf. We're enjoying making golf different than we found it, better than we found it. We believe golf has a very bright future and we're looking for people to support us. So go to randomgolfclub.com to join into our mission of building the biggest and most inclusive golf club in the world. And that's gonna be okay, might be in the bunker. But it's not bad. You know, there's a road there on the right. Yeah, back away from the ocean here. One, two, and then three. We make our way back down. Nice shot from Mikey. Maybe right there. Just left side of the fairway. All right, now Justin's got the wind going to hold up his cut, which will be nice. Middle of the fairway. Look at that. Couldn't have drawn it up any better. All right. 
I'm kind of angry, so we'll see what happens. That's a bit right. I might catch a piece of that fairway there. It feels like Pebble Beach has made me its Pebble Bitch. Also. Also. 270. Nice little layup there. There we go. Yeah, that'll work. Good shot. He reps that Carolina blue with so much pride. He loves it. Great dude. That's the thing about golf. We're doing the same thing and we want everyone to succeed. It's so tough seeing someone have, you know, not the greatest shot or the ball lips out. It can be very, very demoralizing and it's so important to make sure that their spirits are up. Forget about that shot and on to the next. So, yeah. Hang on. Hardest shot in golf. Yeah. I hit a good one earlier on the front nine or back nine, depending on how you look at it. Yeah, you want you want them to replay it? Yeah, we just real quick, replay it. Yeah, dude. Straight out. Wow. I can do it, you see? You saw that? I just never know. I don't want this rough's tough. To carry to get over that ravine. We're looking at something like 180. I can carry that. It just gets a little thin up there, is the only thing. Sounded great. Wow. Let's see, that's going with the wind now. That wind is going to go. Move that draw further left. Further left. I'm trying to hit a five wood and make an eagle, bro. <laughs> Yo, how about shooting 53 on the front and then going. Well, I, I doubled the first hole, which is like so funny, kind of. <laughs> Like, this is terrible, but, but like, if I made an eagle now. Like, easy, high cut, five wood. It'll stop quicker. Let's do it. I haven't hit it all. Yeah, let's take the comfort shot, man, right? Yeah, and then I just, just hit a nice little slice. Yeah, because you're going to cut it back into the wind, right? Yeah. Oh, this could be the best shot of my life, dude. You guys ready? I just hope I don't snap hook it into the houses. Come on, baby. Cushy lie. Just for just for Back just before we hit this river. shot, just just this is my favorite shot in golf. I'm so far away that there's no pressure, and the ball is kind of in a questionable lie. I can swing freely. I got this wind working with me. I hit this at Kiowa, and that was maybe the best shot I've ever hit in my life. A five wood out of the bunker. We should play that really quickly. I mean, it is just that for me was heaven. There's this moment before you hit a shot where you have this like stereoscope vision where things align. And that doesn't actually mean you're gonna hit a good shot, but I had it. I mean, you, you've had that thing where you're like, I'm gonna hit a good shot. And then it just, you top it, you shake it, you pull it, you hosel it. <laughs> I will never forget that shot. New best shot of the day. What's really great is that you still had that moment before you hit the ball. Just, it's, <laughs> it's about the moment before you hit the ball. And I believe at this moment, I was thinking about the Kiowa five wood, this. This here is a moment. Okay, now right, dude. continue. Proper. The ball's below my feet. Not a clean line. Just a, just down in there. Oh! <laughs> oh. Come on! Come on. Yeah. He's back. He's back. That was on the nuts, dude. I live for that. That's all I live for, dude. I don't live for the number. You didn't see that coming, did you, man? Get nine and two? I'm gonna play pretty close to the number 63. It's all 63. Yeah, let's just play the number. Yeah. What'd you grab there? I grabbed an eight. 165 is a full eight for me. Right over that tree. All right, just put a good spin on it. Don't get in the bunker. Oh boy, I think he avoided the bunker successfully. You want to play? I can hold the camera. <laughs> you just take it. Oh, no. 
I think he's trying to straighten it out, or he's becoming comfortable and letting go of the club face. Little five wood from 240. Insane. Dude, sometimes golf just says, how about it? Yeah? Go ahead, baby. At this point, it's worth it. I make it like anything. Catherine dared me to make an eagle. <laughs> she dared you? Yeah. She said if I make an eagle, she'll get a tattoo. It's an eagle putt. She's stressed. Yeah. Patrick's kind of sweating. <laughs> <laughs> Do I have to make it on my word? Is She's that terrible. like how the tattoo She's no way. Nah, go? It's okay. I, I bailed on one of my tattoo thoughts. I would maybe get it, but you'd have to pay for it, obviously. Yeah, that was <laughs> filled. <dude. laughs> it's actually crazy. From, so, from two and a half football fields away. I like away for two seconds. <laughs> yeah, very lush. Very lush. Nice shot. Uh, Mikey, it's a great oh. shot there. Go in. Go in. Wild ride that was. That that may be the shot of the day for me. <laughs> what are we what are we doing? <laughs> that? How the hell? Just another back of the bunker. I don't know, man. I feel like you can pull this off. I let's think about it. Wow. Wow, unbelievable. Unbelievable. Wow. Look at that. You're wow. nuts. Yeah. You're nuts. Best shot of the day. Holy hell. Here, just take a break, get a water. Think about it, Aaron. <laughs> yeah. The little guy's a little sore right now, huh? <laughs> the little guy. Welcome to the second hole, folks. Fireworks. That was one of the most athletic things I've ever seen on a golf course, bro. So athletic. That was, that was sick. Nothing. If I make this, Catherine's getting a tattoo. Hell yeah. That's what we're all about right here. Hey, do you have an HR department? Mm, just never had the line. Never had the line. Happy with the birdie. Yeah, we can come on. Ha very happy with the birdie. Burst. We needed that. Thankful. Oh. Birdie, though, right? Bird. Bye bye. <laughs> yeah, you said you were going to birdie. I did say I was going to birdie, yeah, and you challenged me. Yeah. Expectations the, the thief of joy, yeah. Oh, you played a little bit up there? Yeah. So, even though it feels uphill, you know there's Nice par, dude. Look at us. Nice par, Mikey. Aaron. Looking for a smooth stroke there. Do it. Doing all right. All right. All right. Bogey, bogey. So I got to go four over. Last seven holes. It's possible, but now we got the ocean on every hole. Oh yeah, we do. All right, the final hole of this episode is a 397 yard par four. The fairway on this dog leg left, it's kind of actually a coyote leg left. It threads bunkers up both sides of the fairway. An aggressive line around or over the trees can set up a short pitch into this well-protected green that runs out to the ocean. It's a stunner, folks, look at her. She's just standing there waiting. Yep. Yeah, you see how he missed that and he still made it? Yes. Yeah. That was fine. All right, so I think I have like a six iron here. Just thinking, wrapping that thing around. Good swing, huh? Gorgeous ball. Thanks. I mean, Aaron and I are about to go on a golf trip. I mean, we're on a golf trip. Like that. Mikey Good job, here, Long Island, with the graphite design shaft. Looking for his draw. What? That is, he was looking for a draw, wasn't he? Call Mikey, see what he was looking for. <laughs> I think he was looking for a draw. All right, 
Justin, hit that. Nice shot. Oh, nice one, Justin. Team of the year. Love the look. Justin's just chill, dude. Justin be like. Justin just be chilling, dude. I was wondering, do you think Eric would have been big on Vine if he had like gotten into Vine? I think I could have been a Viner. What do you call it? What do you call it if you get big on Vine? Vine famous. Vine famous. Yeah. You could have been Vine famous, maybe. Yeah. Like, what would it have been? What would have been the bet? In like for like a a really niche weird group of people. Yeah. He would have been their guy. Sounds like my life right now. Yeah. That feels like a <laughs> RGC roast. That's not yeah. what I meant. <laughs> no, it's okay. We roast. Good shot. Does it have enough? Yeah, just, just on the edge. Man, just kind of hangs out there. I hit it. Yeah. That's yeah. You're in the right club, man. Man, I'm just collecting bunkers. That's what it's all about. Nice shot, Justin. Man, that thing just wanted to cut, though. Mm, I love my encore balls. Four pieces, perimeter weighted. Get it in your dish, guys. Try out an encore ball. I'm about to hit it well. I got a good feeling. Just got to the left side, you know? That's where we're trying to get to. But not quite enough. Might have had the wrong club. A lot of wind. Have you got to say your line yet? I knew you were going to say some dumb <laughs> shit. Okay, <laughs> no. and that was it. You were getting your camera ready, but then I knew he was going to whip pan over. I have, I have said my line. Okay, cool, cool, cool. But I used it about myself. Oh. Obviously, because it was late. It was like two holes ago. So I was like, Pebble Beach is making me its Pebble Bitch. I wasn't like, I'm about to make Pebble Beach my Pebble Bitch. You're a quick thinker. I am, uh, but Simone Biles a comedy, you know? Very agile. All right, Justin, over the river and through the woods. Oh, over the green and through the, and into the car. It's a tail we know. It's a tail we know. Insert, insert nouns. Aaron in the bunker. Oh, oh, oh. Loving that. Oh, what a shot. This is a great shot. Par put on the way from Aaron. Love to see him. He's got a lot of practice. Just getting sand over and over and over. Oh, is that for par? All right. I need it. So I got what? Five holes to go, four strokes to play with. I just need a few pars. I'm, of course, going to birdie seven. <laughs> and then, uh, dude, I, I feel like I might do it. He is in a hole, man. It's like a grunge song from the 90s. Man, just look at that pure white sand, though, huh? Long way to travel. It's actually pretty surprised. I hit it that well, honestly. Totally normal shot. Right? Above your knees. Tic tac toe. Tic tac toe. What does he mean by that? All right, for par. Not going to give it to myself, even though I was there. And that's why. Just not putting great. It's not the putter, folks. It's not the lab putter. It's just my brain. It could also be the greens. I mean, we're all equally struggling. Maybe they did something weird with the greens this morning. We didn't really talk about that as a group, but now that now that we've had some time lapse between being there and now, let's see. I mean, that, sh that should have gone in, right? That was a gettable putt. I think something might be wrong with the greens here. And that brings us to the end of the middle stretch of our journey along the cliffs of Pebble Beach Golf Links. Our players are in the thick of the action, each carving their unique paths through this legendary course. Aaron is still battling hard to break 90. He's at plus 15. Justin needs to rediscover his sweet southern swing, and Mikey and I are kites flying in a tempest. Join us tomorrow for the final chapter in the Breaking Pebble series exclusively on the Random Golf Club Films YouTube channel. 
Until then, keep swinging and may your shots find the fairways, or at least not a house. <laughs> <laughs>